Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Farha Alam from BISP Solutions and here we are discussing about uh, BI Publisher Data Model and in our previous session we had seen uh, the Query Builder, uh, how do we create our data set using query builder and in our last session we had seen the creation of data set using sql query and in today's session we are going to take a look on uh, creation of multiple data sets in a data model and how do we create a link between uh, the data sets which we are going to create in the data model so this is the scenario which we are going to uh, see in our today's session so in order to create data sets, we just have to go to our instance and see how do we do that. So let's go to the instance. So this is basically my instance home page. And then I have to reach out to my BI server in order to create the data set. Navigation is navigator, tools, then reports and analytics, then browse catalog. and here is my and here is my folder and uh, how do we create our data model we just have to go to this create option and we have to click on data model one blank data model will get open before us so we just have to click on this new data set and click on sql query and we, here we have to type the name as we are going to create multiple data sets in a single data model so firstly i am going to create these are basically the tables which are which i am going to use per person names if per all people f and per all assignments m these are basically my database tables which i am going to use in today's scenario so First one is per person names F data set. DS stands for data, data set and source is going to be HCM. And here I have to write the query. And this is my query. Just have to copy it and paste it over here. So what does it query do basically it will going to it is going to fetch the person ID full name its effective start date and date legislation code from per person names if table click on OK. So here the query has been successfully executed click on view data then view in order to see the data. So here we can see the data over here. Now I am going to create another data set. Click on this one new data set, click on SQL query and this time I'm going to use per all people F table and this is my data set and source is going to be HCM again. And here is my query for this particular table. It is going to fetch uh, person ID, its a start date and its number, person number from per all people F table. Click on OK. So this query has been executed. Click on view data, then view. So here we can see G2 our, is our next data set. G1 is the first one and G2 is the second one. And one more data set I'm going to create, which is going to be were all assignments m ds same data source i'm going to use and query is this it is going to fetch the assignment id assignment type assignment number action code system person type from per all assignments m table click on ok Again, it has been executed successfully. Click on view data. Then view data and then click on view. So that we will be able to see data from 
this group as well, which is G3. So these are basically the three data sets and three groups has been created G1, G2 and G3. Now the next step is to create a link between these. Okay, so one more thing I have to do over here. I have to include the person ID attribute over here. Click on OK. Click on view data, then view. So here it has been executed. Now the next step is to create the link between uh, these three data sets. So how do we create a link? So we just have to click on this gear or setting icon from G1 and we have to click on create group link. Yes, I want to create a group link with with both the data sets, I want to create my group link with G2 as well and G3. Click on OK. So here we can see the link has been created, right? With G1, G2 and G3. Then click on view data and then view. This is basically G1, G2 and g3 when i this is basically the tree view structure when i click on table view then it uh, i'll be able to see the tabular view for this particular data and if uh, we want to uh, uh, display more number of rows so we can select it over here as much number of rows as you want to see you can select it over here or select it from here and then you have to click on this view option then you will be able to see that particular number of rows which we have selected from here so here is my data or record available over here when i click uh, when i select a this much number of rows like 50 rows and when i click on view so i'll be able to see 50 rows so here so here we can see the 50 rows over here like person ID, full name, effective start date, effective end date, legislation code and all the information which we have provided in our query will be able to see and we uh, what we uh, have done basically over here we have created three data sets in a single data model and we had created a link between these uh, three data sets. So this is how we can create uh, a multiple data sets in a single data model and we can create a link or establish a link between the number of data sets we have defined in a data model and all about our today's session. If you have any questions regarding this, please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com. Thank you everyone.